Hi, this is Amy McNamara and it's Friday Features. Today we're going to take a look at the Admire Air 5000 Overlock Machine from Fav. There are a few things that I want to show you that um, are some top features. You have 15 decorative and utility stitches. You have a differential feed for perfectly even seams and gathering. You have optimal lighting underneath your needle, and you have quick and convenient tension settings and color-coded thread paths. For example, the green path is for the lower looper. So this is the path you would use to thread your lower looper. Okay, you can also adjust your presser foot pressure up in here for the type of fabric that you're using. Also, you can change your stitch length, and like I said up here, your thread tensions are easy to change. You also have a safety lock that the machine will not let you stitch. It won't let me stitch at all until I close the door on the machine. It comes with a waist tray. Oh, and the best thing is the air threading loopers. So let's take a look at those. Okay, so let's thread these loopers. And let me tell you, sometimes I unthread them just because I like to hear that thread swoosh through these mechanism. Okay, so I am going to take my thread and using my tweezers, I'm gonna get that thread Kind of hold on to it a little bit so it doesn't pull out as I'm trying to get the thread in there. So the lower looper will not thread at this point. I have to change this over so that it knows it's going to air thread through um, the lower looper. Okay, the other thing you have to do is put this in uh, threading mode. It won't work. Guess how I know if you don't have it in threading mode. and then you also have to pull, it knows it's in threading mode, so it's gonna click the looper spaces together so then it can feed right through. Okay, so like I said, put a little bit down in there, maybe an inch, inch and a half. I'm gonna pull this and I'm gonna give myself a nice long tail because it has to go through all the, Give myself a nice long tail because it's got to go through the mechanism and come out the looper. So this is how you get the air um, air feed. Make sure we're not tangled or caught on something down here. I'm going to press. There it is. There is my looper. Okay. Now I'm going to change to the other side. Using my tweezers. Okay, get it out when I'm not doing it right. Okay, so again, I'm gonna put about an inch, inch and a half down in the hole. Bring this down for a nice long tail. Okay, it's pointed towards the right looper the correct looper <laughs> and now here is the air and look you are now done threading your loopers all right so I'm gonna take take these threads I'm gonna put them in the back so that I can start stitching but before I do that I have to turn off threading and turn it back to stitching okay and again if I didn't close this my foot pedal wouldn't do anything. Okay, so we're gonna go over the four thread overlock um, stitch, what the settings should be. So this is telling me that I want both of my needles threaded, and we do have that. We want our differential feed over here to be at like one, 1 1.5. So we'll leave it in there. Now you're going to do your stitch length, and I think I already have that. This is the inside knob have that set to the number three. Here is your normal and tight setting. Okay, now I'm gonna go up to the tensions and it says that all of my thread should be a number three tension. Now we have all our settings. I'm putting the thread tray on. All of my thread has been pulled back. 
and I need to lower the presser foot. Okay, and here we go. Sew off some of that tail. And we have a beautiful four thread overlock stitch. There you have the front and then the back and that stitch is just beautiful so that is the admire air overlock five uh, admire 5000 check back in off uh, later date for the demo the friday feature of the new cover lock machine the admire air 7000 so we will come back and have that at another time thanks for watching